This video contains mature content. It's not for children or even adults who are squeamish. Viewer discretion advised. Okay, John Podesta, Hillary Clinton's campaign chairman, he had his emails hacked, and thousands of the most scandalous ones have been posted on the website WikiLeaks, like proof that CNN leaked their debate questions to Hillary Clinton in advance, and proof that the Democratic primaries were rigged against Bernie Sanders, or evidence of damage control for Bill Clinton's sexual abuse and Hillary Clinton's attempts to evade police investigations into her deleted emails. That's all explosive stuff. But right in the middle of all those, there's this very short, very boring email right here. Its subject line is just dinner. I mean, it couldn't be more boring. It's from John Podesta's brother, Tony, asking John if he and his wife, Mary, would join him at dinner at the house of someone named Marina Abramovich. You can see the original invitation from Abramovich to Tony right at the bottom there. It says, Dear Tony, I'm so looking forward to the spirit cooking dinner at my place. Do you think you will be able to let me know if your brother is joining? All my love, Marina. And then Tony forwards that to his brother, John, and asks, Are you in New York City Thursday, July 9th? Marina wants you to come to dinner. Mary? So why is this included amongst scandals and crimes on WikiLeaks? Well, it's because it's not a normal dinner. It's a spirit cooking dinner. I had no idea what that was. I thought maybe it was something like raw vegan food or organic cuisine or something, spirit cooking. Yeah, no, <clears throat> it's not spirit cooking. This is spirit cooking. It's an occult ritual that Marina Abramovich has been doing for 20 years. Here are some excerpts from her own videos on the subject. <laughs> Yeah, that's spirit cooking. It's the grossest, most occult, satanic ritual you can imagine. I'm sorry, I wish I were making this up, but I'm not. Here's Marina Abramovich, who invited her dear friends, the Podestas, over for dinner. That's her with a bloody goat's skull, an occult image with the medieval name Baphomet. I'm sorry, I wish I were making this up, but that really is Marina Abramovich. She's an artist, she says, but most of her work involves herself doing grotesque things. Sometimes to herself, sometimes to other people. Here she is with her head shrouded, naked, holding a skull. I don't know if it's a real skull. I don't know if that blood in her spirit cooking was real blood. Here she is with another occult symbol, a snake in her mouth. I do know that that is a real snake. Here she is sitting on a pile of bones. I don't think those are real bones. I do know that this woman is deeply disturbed. Now, she calls herself an artist, of course she does. How much of it is just to shock and profane and to defile? And how much of it is real? Well, three years ago, she was asked that question on the website Reddit. Here's how the exchange went. Marina, what place do you see the occult having within contemporary art? Can magic be made, not simply appropriated and performed? And she answered, everything depends on which context you are doing what you are doing. 
If you are doing the occult magic in the context of art or in a gallery, then it is the art. If you are doing it in different context, in spiritual circles or private house or on TV shows, it is not art. So back to the Podesta email. This spirit cooking was at Abramovich's home. Spirit cook, it's so gross. She talks about breast milk and blood and semen and urine. This is her art. Ugh, it's how she lives her life at home, too. This is her life. This is what she's known for. Here, I want you to watch more of her clips. Again, I'm sorry if you were discretion advised. It's her doing what she does. She's not an artist that, as that term is normally used, she's not a painter or a sculptor. She calls her own bizarre occult rituals performance art like scrawling pentagrams on her own naked body. Again, viewer discretion advised. Aimer l'art à en mourir. Marina Abramovic a pris l'expression au pied de la lettre. Dans les années 70, elle fréquente les beaux-arts et s'ennuie ferme. Les jolis nuages à l'aquarelle, c'est fini. Elle veut provoquer son nouveau matériau, ce sera son corps. Un pistolet chargé, des médicaments, des coups et un cise l'étoile à cinq branches, symbole du communisme, dans sa peau. Ou encore, elle se couche dans le même symbole en flamme jusqu'à manquer d'oxygène et s'évanouir. Hey John, will you and Mary join us for some spirit cooking at Marina's? For God's sakes, they are on a first name friendship basis with this woman. What do they do at these private dinners? Not the ones in public galleries, the private ones with the VIP guest lists. Here's a video performance art produced by Abramovich, a rare one not involving her. It's a man masturbating on camera. And here's another one with a group of men having sex with the ground. What the hell? And I do mean hell. I don't want to go further than the facts here. I don't need to. The facts are so insane. What the hell is John Podesta and his wife Mary and his brother Tony into? What are they into? Did he, in fact, go to this spirit cooking dinner at Abramovich's house? Ugh, has he gone in the past? What else has he done? Has he gone to Abramovich's three-day retreat? Here, let me show you what that's like. This is from the fashionable New York Times. They were thrilled to be able to get a camera along to that three-day retreat. Just watch as Abramovich takes a dozen stupid, clever people to an occult retreat in the country. Just watch. I think she said something like, you know, we're not going to eat or speak for three days. She's like, you'll hate me at the time, but you'll love me forever after and do whatever I want. <laughs> like, I'm going with my instincts on this, and it feels right to trust her. What do you look so worried about? <laughs> She wants us to fast for three days, and she's mentioned some other exercises that we'll be doing. We always want to do things we like to do, but nobody ever changes when they do things they like. It is a total mystery what we'll be doing. We won't be talking, I know that. So you can make your last phone call, last phone call. You know, you'll be free for three days. It's amazing. So what's, what's happening? We'll let you know later. Okay, Don't worry. It's, 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 it's just a little bit different. <laughs> they can take this experience and they do everything they want with their own life. But probably they'll hate me anyway. At least at the beginning. <laughs> We're all sleeping together. It's probably cold. It's going to rain. I know it's too, or it's too much sun. You know, they can't uh, wash in properly. They have to wash in the river. They have to do exercises, and the worst thing, they can't complain because they can't talk. And what do they do there? Huh. Well, the New York Times shows you a bit. You, you have to consider some training. <laughs> Body limits is one thing, but mental limits are the ones we have to deal with. Body is only the instrument. What kind of soul you have, what, what is inside, and how you really can use your body in extreme situations. This looks really ritualistic, I love it.
Yeah, that is someone with whom the Podestas are on a first name basis. That's someone familiar enough with them that she invites them over to dinner, but not a regular dinner. Hey, let's go out for Thai food. There's this great new place. No, no. They're staying in and doing a spirit cooking. I have no idea what this all means, other than John Podesta and his family are far outside the mainstream for society. His values aren't just eccentric, they are diabolical. Of course they're not Christians. I mean, this is the Democratic Party. It's a party that believes in partial birth abortions. I mean, of course they're not Christian, but they're not even agnostic. They're not even atheist. I don't know what they are. I'm not quite sure what Marina Abramovich is, but she's not a former chief of staff to Barack Obama like John Podesta is. She's not running a campaign for the leading contender for president. I'm not engaging in conspiracy theories. I'm showing you a friendship between an extremely powerful man and an extremely diabolical woman. And Marina Abramovich, too. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levine. Hey, if you're interested in more videos, uh, click to subscribe below. I promise you, they're not all as gross as this one.